Okay, welcome everybody. This is my weekly masterclass and today I'm sharing um, the number one reason why your business is failing to grow. Um, I see this occurring all the time with business owners and I do work with my clients to actually get really, really brilliant at this. So um, it's not kind of here for me to tell you off for not doing this. Um, I have to put my hands up and say that in the past I have actually been guilty of this as well. So you learn from your own mistakes and uh, you hopefully lead and allow other people to understand how they can learn from your mistakes and make sure that they're not doing it. So I promise that I'll share the number one reason why your business is failing to grow. And the number one reason that I've experienced in the past, and the number one reason that I see my clients struggling to grow their business, and the number one reason why I see other business um, owners failing to, to grow, is down to this one strategy, and that is planning. So, you know, you may be kind of like nodding your head and saying, yeah, that's totally me. I totally have every intention to plan, to look at each month and plan it out and be really strategic about how I uh, come across in my business, how I deliver my business and how I generate the results that I really want to have in my business. However, the reality is often something quite different and, you know, we get busy, we're live, we're busy, we're doing things and we forget about planning. And we often forget about it because it makes us feel uncomfortable, we don't want to do it. So planning is often a strategy that people have every intention to do, but actually in reality, they don't do it. Um, and what happens, well, there's a really good quote, isn't there? Quite a few um, kind of leaders in the world have, have had a quote about planning, but this one is the one I love, and it's probably the one that you know really well as well, which is, you know, when you fail to plan, you plan to fail. And it's as simple as that. If you were not planning in your business, if you were approaching each month where you're just floundering around, wondering what on earth are you doing, how are you going to generate um, results that you want to in your business, how are you going to attract new clients into your business, and you just decide that you're going to do a bit of everything, that you just pray and pray and you just keep your fingers crossed that everything's going to work out, um, or if you just fly by the seat of your pants, just have this amazing idea and you're just going to go for it. Um, it's going to lead to you feeling really stressed in your business. It's going to make you feel as if you're not quite sure if you're coming or going. It's maybe going to seem to your audience that you're very uncoordinated, so they don't really understand what's going on either because you're just getting all sorts of different ideas and uh, information coming from you. Um, so this is what happens, you know, we fail to plan and we fail to grow our businesses and we end up feeling lost and worried and when that happens, when we don't get the results into our business that we want, that's when the disbelief starts to grow and when we start to struggle with that disbelief, when we start to have that disbelief that we can actually make our business work, it becomes like a little groove that we, we get stuck in and we constantly just get into this group like I'm not good enough, I can't do it, I need to become an expert in X before I can go out and grow this business, before I can have the income that I decide to have. So by not planning, it's not only detrimental to your results, it's detrimental to your mindset as well. And that's why I very confidently said this is the number one strategy that you need to have in your business. So, how do you get started with planning if you have resisted it so far? So hopefully you can put your hand up and you're thinking, yep, yeah, this is me, I know that I need to do some more planning, uh, I keep meaning to do it, and I'm not. And it's perfect time in this um, masterclass, because here we are at the end of a um, month, but you can plan at any time. But it's really to just identify right here and now, you know, what is that your income goal that you want to generate in the next month? It can be as simple as that. 
I mean, if you were planning strategically, you would be looking three months ahead, six months ahead, 12 months ahead. But today, we're just talking about getting you started with planning. So I want you to do the first step and identify in the next kind of four or five weeks, what income do you want to generate into your business? So write that down. That is your income goal. That's a brilliant starting point. And it's really to kind of like tap into how does that feel? And if you're not excited by it, then a little bit scared, it perhaps isn't the big it perhaps isn't big enough. You know, or if you're just thinking, ooh, I feel really uncomfortable putting an income girl down, it, the, this resistance is pointing to the actual kind of um, evidence that you need to do this. So put your income girl down. You can always change it, but you need to start somewhere. So number one, identify your income girl. And let's just start with a month. You know, oh, what what's we going to generate in the next month? Number two is identify what you need to sell to achieve this income goal. I'm just resuming my live stream there. Um, identify what you need to sell to achieve this income goal. And who's going to buy it? That's the third step, is identify who's going to buy it. Is it going to be existing clients? So perhaps you've been working with clients and you've got a new product or service that naturally leads on and helps them a little bit more. So brilliant, that's great. You've identified that this product that you're going to sell that's going to help you achieve your income goal is actually for your existing clients. That gives you a lot of information. Or is it that you've got a, an existing product or service and you want to attract new clients into it? That's great. Again, that gives you lots of information and it gives you um, lots of information about how you're going to market it. And the fourth step is, the time before you go out there and start taking any action, is to be really clear about what your clients will receive. And this is, again, a really brilliant mindset piece. Because when you get really excited about the experience that your clients will receive from purchasing this item or items that you have, it really generates that um, desire within you to go and do this and take those tricky steps forward. The fifth step is to identify all your marketing actions. So for instance, if you have a product that you want to sell to existing market, you need to identify what the marketing steps are that will help your existing clients buy this product. So maybe you need to personally message them or perhaps you need to create a resource that um, identifies what it is that you have and how it's going to benefit them. And then you need to go out there and promote it. And, some, and I see this happen a lot, is that when people go out and promote things, they promote it once or twice, and that's it. They don't, and especially if they don't get any sales, they kind of shy away from promoting it. But within your plan, you need a really robust um, approach to how you're going to get this product or service in front of your ideal client. And you need to be consistent and consistent with it. And when you do those things, you'll start to sell it. So if you have got a product or service that you want to sell to new clients, your marketing actions are about how you're going to attract new clients to you, and then how are you going to position your product or um, service to them. So the fifth step is all about identifying what your marketing steps are. The sixth step is identifying what the sales actions are, which is again a really missing piece for lots of business owners, is that you know sometimes people are really going to be visible, create great content, and be on social media, and connecting with their clients, but what they kind of fail to do is they fail to do the sales actions. So identify what sales actions you're, you're committing to taking forward in this period of the month. Okay, so there's the six steps to get started with planning. And I'm going to share like the seventh step. And the seventh step, which is going to make a really big difference to you actually achieving your desired results. 
is to do the steps every single day. You've created a plan and you've identified all those steps that you're going to take. And next, you need to really commit to taking those steps forward. And when you have this plan, it's not just like you have this plan and it just stays still and it might work or it might not. It's a working document and if the sales aren't coming through, you need to review your plan and change your activities. If the sales are coming through, you need to then think about how you can accelerate it. So the, the plan really is a working document that really gives you the steps to how you're going to achieve your result. So let's just recap on those seven steps. Number one is to identify an income goal. Number two is to identify um, what you need to sell to achieve that income goal. The third step is to identify who's going to buy it from you. The fourth one is to be really clear and get really excited about what it is that they will see and experience as a result of buying it from you. The fifth step is to identify all of the marketing activities that you're going to be taking forward in order to attract your desired results. And the sixth step is to identify the sales steps that you're going to do. Don't forget about selling guys. And the seventh step is to do the steps daily. Every single day, you've got to be going out there, increasing your visibility, talking to your audience, warming them up, getting them excited about what it is that you've got, positioning an, an irresistible offer them, and being consistently telling them about what this. So there's some, you know, there's really brilliant creative ways that you can do that. Okay, so let's just figure that out. So, do you have any questions? If you have any questions in the live stream, you can just put them in the comments box. I'm really happy to answer any questions about how you could use Planet to greatly grow your business. If you're live on the blog, you can equally jump into the um, conversation box, like send a message box and ask me any questions there. If you're listening back to the recording, you can post comments below or you can email me at rachel at rachelsmithlifecoach.com. That's my current email, soon to change. And I just wanted to kind of wrap up this so that I've got a really exciting and brand new opportunity for those business owners who totally recognize that they are ready to grow the business, to accelerate their income, and it's like, this is it, this is the time it's going to do now. And I've got a brand new way of giving you all of the content that you need to do in order to do this. And I'll be sharing more about that over the next couple of days. But I really just wanted to kind of flag that up and uh, just to let you know, I'm really excited about this because it's the first way I've delivered the content in this way, and I know that you're going to love it as well. So if you've got any questions, please answer them now. Ask them now. I'm really happy to answer them. But it's been great to come back and do this lab as well. And this live stream, my first live stream, dual live stream. It's not my first live stream. You can see it now. Right, guys, that's lovely. I'm going to wrap it up there. I'm going to say thank you very much for coming and joining me today. And if you're not already part of my um, community of amazing business owners, but I've got this beautiful community for female business owners, which is called Live Your Abundant Life, and if you're not already part of that community, come and join me over on Facebook today. All right, I look forward to connecting with you again soon. Bye for now. Bye for today.